This 24-year-old Tuareg gas smuggler drives in the opposite direction of where he wants to go. He wants to leave false tracks in the sand to throw off any law enforcement that may follow him. The smuggler does not want to be identified. After nearly 30 minutes of creating a deceptive trail, he continues to his real destination to meet his business partner, Abdus Salam. Throughout the Saharan region, smugglers and military patrols recognize each other's tracks. Salem and his driver both live in fear these trails will meet. We are always scared of running into Algerian or Nigerian authorities or bandits who try to steal the gasoline. But we learn to live with this fear, to pay off the officials and to drive faster than the bandits. Salem says he spends about $50 per trip in bribes on his route from Algeria to Niger. Salem sells 10 barrels to Nigerian rebels fighting against the government for more control in northern Niger. Niger's president, Mamadou Tanja, has said the rebels are trying to control the desert to get their share from smuggling operations like this one. But Salem says he does not pay anything to the rebels. He says the rebels and farmers are his biggest customers in the Air Mountains. He brings gasoline, clients bring their own containers. But lately, he says it's been tougher because he has more competition from other smugglers. Salem has smuggled for five years. He started as an assistant driver. Then he says he invested $6,000 to buy his own truck. He hired an assistant driver. Salem makes the trip about four times a month, selling each barrel for about $300. I make good money. I do not know what else. I would do because that's the night I could walk and run. I heard camels. Then I became an assistant driver, and now I have this. How else do I make my living in the desert? Ten barrels later, Salem is paid about $2,800, half of which goes to his boss in Algeria. After taking out his expenses, he says he makes about $1,000 a month. He says it is not such a bad job, if you can live with the fear. Fung Tran for VOA News, Inkaka, Niger.